Hi there Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 17th of March. As this week begins, Mercury moves back into your sister water sign of Pisces. And this is great on the face of it because it's going to take you out of the more introverted viewpoint that Mercury brings in the fourth solar house and reignite your sense of humour and fun, or will it? Of course, you have the sun in Pisces already, but that was in a clash last week, at the end of the week, with a Virgo full moon. So what's the implications of this? Well, I think it's about you having the confidence to strut your stuff as you want. It could be that some friends are not particularly supportive of some of your ideas and plans at the current time, but it's what is really important to you that you need to embrace, particularly if you're taking a more daring turn. And last week's full moon did combine with two planets which are located in the one planet and, and one fixed location, which are located in the hidden part of your horoscope. So you have to listen to your hunches, whatever anyone else thinks. But with Venus continuing in your home zone, if you are continuing to make changes to where you live, you may want to invite people around to show them what you've done and could have some kind of gathering and you can make for a fine host and it could be a really lovely time. However, there is going to be a move and this occurs on Thursday when the sun moves into the more practical part of your horoscope known as the sixth house. It's also the start of the Astrology New Year. This is the Vernal Equinox. This is an opportunity for you to think again about your health uh, attitudes, how much exercise you get, and the type of food that you're eating or making. And if you can be a little bit more efficient around these areas and about your general life uh, mode, then that can free up more time to do the things that are more fun and entertaining. But with your ruler Pluto still, in a very resolute opposition with a Jupiter and both continuing that T-square to Uranus. If you do have opinions which clash with other people, it can seem to impact on your nervous system quite a lot. In other words, your health. So one of the great things to do with the switch of this sun would be to try to find ways to relax more. Now for some of us, that's by doing some strenuous exercise. For others, maybe you want to do something that's more meditative like yoga or stretching breathing exercises. It just depends on you as an individual. But Mercury by the end of this week is combining once more with Neptune. It did this for the first two weeks of February. Now if you're a bit confused about why this is happening again, it's because Mercury twisted backwards in a retrograde and now it's going forwards, so it's repeating the influence. This can give you a very idealistic view of life and love for sure. But with the sun moving, it's asking you to be much more realistic and down to earth in how you view people. It's just the way it is. None of us is perfect. And so therefore, even if you really find that someone is very, very alluring, if you're just getting to know them, it is going to be important to, to recognize that some, suddenly you're probably going to see a few chinks in their armor and they may see a few in yours. But just be realistic about this. And the more you can be honest and frank with one another about the areas that you might find that are slightly different between you, the more you can offset Mercury's confusing influence with Neptune. But on the plus side, when it comes to using your creativity to its full, then Mercury and Neptune combining, is just there's just nothing better and, and you could really be inspired. And the Sun can help you to use that inspiration in a practical, workable way going forwards. How good is that? Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.